why a cube-shaped city in Saudi Arabia is upsetting Muslims. Saudi Arabia's public investment fund has unveiled new plans for a cube-shaped megastructure in Rijia called the Mukab, which has drawn criticism for its resemblance to Islam's most sacred site, the Kaaba. The project, which is part of the Vision 2030 blueprint to diversify the kingdoms of kingdom's economy is expected to be completed by the end of the decade and will feature residential units, hotel rooms, office spaces, and entertainment and culture venues. Inspired by the styles used in the Najd region of Saudi Arabia for the design and architecture, the building features overlapping triangular forms. However, some social media users have pointed out that the design is far too similar to the Kaaba. The Kaaba is a cube-shaped structure at the center of Islam's most important mosque, the Masjid al-Haram in Mecca. The Muslims consider it to be the house of God and the Qibla, the direction of prayer when performing namaz. One Twitter user said, this is a strange choice, or is it just me? The new Maqab, like a Kaaba, but with shopping venues? Armin, I think, yeah, in the um, article, we have a, a video that kind of shows the look of the new macabre yeah look what? at look at this wow okay should we watch the video first yeah okay hold on actually i want to look at this full screen so let me introduce hold on hold on hold on, hold on. wow look at this guys you have audio when i mm -hmm. play it introducing the new horizon for riyadh a new icon, the Mukab, the world's first immersive experiential destination. A gateway to another world. Step inside and it's unlike anything you've ever seen, at a scale that's unprecedented big enough to hold 20 Empire State Buildings, where you and those around you enter a new reality, transporting you to Mars one day and magical worlds the next, where your retail experience is completely reimagined and hospitality, leisure, and entertainment reach new levels, all in breathtaking, ever-changing environments. This is the new face of Riyadh. Experience a new horizon. Okay. Okay. Armin, okay. your reaction. Give it to us. This sounds insane. I mean, I don't know which one is going to be more amazing to see them being achieved to do all these amazing projects they're doing there because they're making a city that is a line now they're making one that is a cube and are they going to be able to do it i don't know which one i would entertain me more being able to see all these completed or them failing in every single one of them because i'm i'm okay with either one of them because both of them is going to be amazing but anyways let's go look, look, look at why people are angry muslims are angry it this looks like the kaaba but better much better <laughs> i mean look at it it looks like a, it's like a much more impressive kaaba and here's the thing this is be sh this be shirky uh, this is like the ultimate sin in islam as soon because as i saw it i'm like that be shirk in the land of the prophet like are you kidding me you know what this is like this is like the golden calf that uh, people were worshiping. Well, Moses is the story of Moses. By the way, the, the story of Moses, where he went to get the Ten Commandments and he showed up and people were wor worshiping a golden calf. That's also an Islamic story. It's not just in the it's not just a Christian and Jewish story. Muslims believe in that. And what could be more like what could be more like that story than a, so people were worshiping a golden calf. And Muslims worship two words, a cube figure, and now this is a version of that, but golden. Golden. And guys, this is like, I think Muhammad bin Salman is like make, triggering them on purpose now because the concept of shirk is also like there's this, ad, there's this major shirk and there's lighter, like people, 
other kinds of shirt that is not as explicit, as direct as the shirt. That, so if you have an idol and you worship towards that idol, that's like, okay, that is like absolute direct shirt. Okay. For, you know, but like Hindus, for example, or Christians worshiping the statue of Jesus Christ. Right. But there's other kinds of shirk that is you valuing money so much more like shopping, capitalism, buying, you know, buying stuff like material stuff. So basically prioritizing things over Allah, worshiping Allah, prioritizing this world. So it's like you love this world so much that it's almost like worship. So some Muslims believe that's that's also shirk, all right? But this is like combining those two things together. The lighter shirk and the direct shirk or the heavier shirk because it's a shopping center. I mean, look at the whole thing, right? The whole thing is a place where you go and you celebrate, which is not play material stuff twitter always does that hold on continue watching it on twitter maybe that will work better yeah it does work better right this is where you go yet wait mute it and you and it's a shopping center and you buy stuff and it's like about enjoying this material world so this whole narrative of the new shirk the modern shirk being celebrating the material world and like sh and and luxury is be is being displayed because now you're turning shopping and material world into a a kaaba right so this like look uh, the manifestation of what is it yeah dunya over the akhara <laughs> yes yeah the manifestation of preferring this world over the other like all those conspiracies that you know the illuminati the because, okay, this is a government that is now close to Israel, right? So think about what Muslims are feeling. The Muslims are like, okay, the, uh, the government that is getting close to Israel and the, Zi the Zionists being the ones who are trying to, you know, make us do shirks and go away from Allah, this government is making a Kaaba, a golden Kaaba, like the golden calf, in the city, in the in the land of the prophet, to compete with the building that we're supposed to be worshiping God, celebrating material worlds, like all their narrative is now being combined into one building, and it's all coming true. Like if I was a Muslim, I would be like, okay, yeah, your guys were right. I was like, yeah, everything it, it just writes itself. It's like Muhammad bin Salman just woke up one day and like, let me just all these all the stuff that been saying about me, let me just make it. Make them all get like make their minds melt. What could I do? He's like, what could I do to make all these Muslims who've been triggered by everything I do to be like, okay, okay, this is too much on the nose now. How about a gold, a giant golden Kaaba that celebrates materialism? Would that be too obvious? Yeah, it would be. Let's do it. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so as you can imagine, a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslims are triggered. Like there's YouTube, Muslim YouTube channels. You could go watch them. They're like, they're calling us out. They be like, okay, this is like, this is too much. They're like, do we even need to say anything? Just look at this thing. I know. Just look, just look at, at it. Thing. Oh my God. Yes. You know, that's what's so <laughs> funny to me. Like, Armin, tell me if I'm, if I'm out of pocket for saying this. But like, is it out of pocket to be like, I would not be shocked if we get another Bin Laden over this kind of thing? Oh, oh my, I, I wasn't thinking about that, but now I am and I'm scared. You're right. Because, I mean, because given what yeah, inspired right. Bin Laden, I'm like, come this on. This is a lot worse. Yeah. This is worse. <laughs> you're right. But how are they going to afford this thing? Guys, like, they're already building that line city. And I was like, we were looking at those numbers. And I'm like, if that doesn't work, the country's going to go bankrupt. Because they're doing these things because they're running out of oil money. And now they're building this? I mean, look at this. What is this? How is expensive is this? And then there's under. And then, look, there's flying machines? all over around it and you have in mountains that are inside the cube 
and you have floating. I think, I think this is all LED. No, you have that central building. The building you can't is have central, LED. but I think the rest of it is projected onto the surfaces of the dome How? that surrounds everything. See, because let's see, it says incredible okay. holographics. Okay, okay. But how are you going to do that? That's good. They have giants walking around in holographics? <laughs> and what is this? Is this also? Okay, this is not holographic because there's people on it. They would be falling if this part was holographic. Okay? So you have floating. What is this? And then what are these? Are these float? Okay, these are not holographic. These are people riding. These are floating. And then you have underwater buildings. And apparently, like, this is a restaurant or something. This is going to cost, like, 10 Saudi Arabia worth of money. Not like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you got to, if this, okay, if these fail, it's going to take down the country with it. Like, this one and the whole line thing that they're building, the line city. Like, this better work out. Or else I don't know. Oh, we got a super chat, by the way. Maybe we should, you know, we should send our super chats to Saudi Arabia. We, they're going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to uh, read. Wait, we'll save that one from GJ for a second. I want to mm -hmm. say Apologia was in the live chat saying cheers oh, hey. to his friends. Apologia, if you guys are interested in Christian or, yeah, counter apologetics, make sure to go check out his channel. Um, the yes. music guy is saying, can we circle around it and worship capitalism? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is not this is crony capital. This is don't, don't, don't talk. This is not capitalism. Okay. I don't want capitalism to get a bad rep here. Okay. This is crony capitalism. This is not real capitalism. And then D is saying, can they possibly trigger the anti-modernity folks more? <laughs> 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 Sounds like a horror guy speaking. Anyways. Oh, oh, damn. Uh, That's quite yeah. the accusation. Yes. Um, we don't throw that word around lightly, sir. Um, <laughs> um let's uh read the super chat. Wait, oh, wait, TJ wait, quickly, oh. and then move to the next wait. news. Before oh, we do ahead. that, before we do that, I want to see like. This is a people what what people are tweeting about it. Okay, so this one, a gateway to another world. Okay, that's just a public investment fund. This is a strange choice, or is it just me? The new mocap, like it, like the Kaba, but with shopping menus. <laughs> it's like the Kaba, but with shopping menus. Okay. Oh wait, where is Susanna go? I was. All right, she's gonna come back. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.